Hi guys, so today we're looking at this problem called the cathedral problem. And here's what it says. It says while building a uh, medieval cathedral, it cost 37 guilders. Now, we're saying uh, that guilders is the currency of money. So that's the type of money. Think of guilders as like dollars. Um, that's a different currency and it's an old currency. Um, so it costs 37 guilders to hire four artists and three stonemasons. Or it costs 33 guilders for three artists and four stonemasons. The question we're trying to figure out is what would be the expense of just one artist and one stonemason, one of each. Now, to start off, I'm going to write down the information that we have. So we know that for 37 guilders, what we get, I'm going to say, is equal to, it is equal to four artists plus three and I'm just going to put for stonemasons, I'm going to put S in. So for 37 guilders, we get four artists and three stonemasons. Now, for 33 guilders, again, remember that's the type of money, we get three artists plus four stonemasons. Our question is, and I'll write it over here, is how much is one artist and how much that's our question mark is one stonemason that's what we're trying to figure out now the first thing that i looked at here was i noticed that these two things are pretty similar but really all we changed was we had from here to here, we changed the number of artists by one and the number of stonemasons by one. Now, you'll notice in the bottom example, there's three artists and four stonemasons, more stonemasons. In the top example, there's four artists and three stonemasons, which means there's more artists. Now, the other thing that I noticed is that this amount of money it's more than this one. Now, here's what I learned from that. I know then that the cost of an artist has to be more than the cost of a stonemason. Because when I had more stonemasons, you'll notice the amount of money was less. When I had more artists, you'll notice the amount of money was more. Now, here's the other thing we can figure out. We can figure out just by looking at these two differences in cost, 37 and 33, the difference between those, those is four. Four, four guilders is the difference in cost between those. Now, because the number of artists and the number of stonemasons just flipped at four and three and three and four, I can then say that the cost for an artist must be four more than the cost of a stonemason has to be four more than the cost of the stonemason. Now, from this, we can figure out our question here. Now, the strategy that I'm gonna uh, think that is probably best for you guys to try today is a strategy that we've used a lot, which is guessing and checking. Now, when you guess and check, I would suggest that you make a chart. Now, a chart that might help, because remember, an organized list is going to be uh, really super helpful. Um, so what I would do is I would make a chart that has a few columns. Um, your first column is the for artists, and then for stonemasons, and then your third can be your total, and when I'm saying total, total costs. So for example, we know that for artists, uh, four artists and three stonemasons is 37. We know that three artists and four stonemasons is 33. Now, from this, we can start to guess and check some possible, uh, some possible amounts of guilders for each. So, for example, just pure guess. What if I said that an artist was five? Do four times five is twenty. And then what if I said a stonemason was three? Just a guess. 
3 times 3 is 9. But when I put together 20 and 9, I don't get 37. So I know that my guess and check does not work there. Now, your goal is to try this until you get it to work here and for it to work here. It has to work for both of those um, by figuring out the amount of an artist and the amount of a stonemason. And I think an organized chart like this might help you to arrive at that. Now, I want to remind you that we said just based upon 37 and 33, we know that an artist costs more than a stonemason, and we know that an artist costs four more than a stonemason. That should give you somewhere really uh, good to start. Remember, our question is what is the cost of one artist? What is the cost of one stone mason? Think about what information that I've given you here and um, good luck with us.